Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mosley and today I have a new video for you. So, um, right now I'm currently very naked on my face. I haven't done my makeup at all and I'm sick. It's 2... 2.28 uh, in the morning. But I suddenly realized I need to film this video and I just want to film it. So, um, today I'm going to teach you all how to shop on aliexpress.com and that aliexpress website you can also alternative put it into dresslink.com zaffle.com uh... what else? oh romwee.com basically all those cheap places you can buy stuff and they're all based in china so you might be asking why do i need you to teach me how to shop on current certain website i know how to buy my stuff right you just choose it, you you pick it, you pay for it, you got it at your home. Simple. You don't like it, you return it. But the thing is, these stuff are based in China. And guess who is a Chinese girl and knows all this stuff? Hinted me. So I'm going to teach you how to buy stuff. Because a lot of people has been telling, um, sharing their experience on YouTube or whatever platform that they have saying oh these websites are trash they have absolutely nothing you shouldn't pay for them um, or like you shouldn't get anything on it because it's just a scam you take your money they give you bad quality product or they send you stuff that is not your size but the truth is you probably just don't know how to shop on it properly and after listening to these tips you probably get a better way to shop on these products so I, I'm not promising you that everything you get are gonna be worth your money or uh, go up to your expectation because of course I'm not selling this product I can't promise you the quality of the product but this is but this is more like advices for you when you shop on these websites so personally I am a shopper on Aliexpress I have shopped on Aliexpress for a little bit over a year and a half now um, I have bought a lot of product on that um, on that website and um, I feel like I know how to properly buy it um, buy things on it. I have only like two to three fails so far and I have paid for over a hundred products now so I feel like I can give you um, advices. So I'm gonna jump right in and I'm gonna start by categories. So personally um, if you're looking for things not personal so when you buy things not so personal usually you won't have that much fail. So here I'm talking about like like um, cups or silverwares, um, phone cases or your handbags or sort of stuff um, or hat these sort of stuff they don't have a standard um, for standard I'm not mean I'm not meaning that like they're bad or good that kind of quality stuff it means they don't have um, like a size different for example you buy a hat on the website say I got this hat um, if you buy stuff like this, you can adjust the size of it yourself. Usually, you wouldn't have a big problem. Um, the only thing you want to be concerned about is the color difference. That could be one thing. Or um, if they arrive on time, that's one thing you want to take care of. Um, take care of. But you wouldn't have anything about the size or the material. Um, that's a big difference. Uh, I'm going to talk about those things in a bit, but now I'm talking about things don't involve with that. So for example, I personally have bought um, these little shopping bags. Um, they are reusable bags. I have shown them before on my other uh, video. These bags, they don't have difference. They're all the same. Um, so no matter how many you have ordered, they come exactly the same. And these products, usually you wouldn't have big problem with them. Um, the only difference is one, different seller have different prices for it. And secondly, um, usually this stuff might have a little bit difference on um, material or on um, the actual product you get. So um, when talking about which seller you should go for, I really suggest you to go to see the um, comment section 
that's when people tell you if you should trust them or not. Um, I wouldn't suggest you to look at the stars because a lot of people they are, uh, um, receive these kind of stuff for free and they just come in five star no matter what they get or sometimes people get them and then they use it for two days they're still fine they just get them five stars and then a week later they broke and but then you don't know it's broken so I suggest you do like the comment sections really look into the words that people put onto why they don't like it and why they like it um, so I really suggest you to look into the comment section just to look at what why people don't like it or why people like it um, so sometimes like people have problems with um, uh, handbags come with a scent on it like it smells chemical or it smells bad but a lot of people they don't mind that so they give five stars but if you are really like sensitive about a scent you don't know about it you only look at five star you're gonna get a smelly bag but if you look into the comment section people might be commenting it's a good design but it has smell you should be fine after three days it give you this kind of information and that's something maybe you really want to look into and the second thing I want to talk about is you might be asking why all these sellers have the exactly same picture so um if you have shopped on uh, aliexpress or wish.com you realize a lot of different sellers they have exactly the same picture this is something um, if you have been shopping on it for a long time you get used to it so a lot of times they don't even get their own shots of their own products they just make products um, similar to other stuff um, so that's why they put the same picture but um, if you are not sure which seller is selling the exact product you're looking for um, you like that like I said you should go to the comment section look into what people are talking about it or some people they share the pictures of it and you know what you're gonna get and now I'm going deeper into a little personal section so if you are those people who are trying to buy product on Aliexpress that well touch your skin, I'm not saying clothes, I'm not saying anything like handbags or shoes or hats, I'm talking about something you really literally put on your skin, which is makeup or skincare. Um, if you're shopping for those stuff, um, personally, I would not suggest you to do that. Um, I have a couple reasons. First of all, all the glitters you found on AliExpress.com, they're not specially made for cosmetic reasons. So you're trying to get glitters from AliExpress.com. They come, um, the glitter they come with are not specially rounded. So if they get into your eyes, they may have a little cut on your eyes. Um, so I wouldn't suggest that. Personally, I have never bought those glitters just to use on my face or my eyes. I have got some for my nails or my hair, but I have never done that on my eyes. It's just because personally, I don't believe in that. I feel like that's not the best thing for me. That's not safe for me. And uh, for product that are fake cosmetics, so you might be able to find fake Anastasia Beverly Hill palettes, Huda Beauty palette, or um, maybe Jeffree Star lipsticks, Kylie lipsticks. I personally wouldn't suggest you to buy it either. Um, it's not. It's not because I have personally tried it, or because of like they have special chemicals in it. It's not because of that. It's just because a lot of times the product you ordered are not gonna be the same that you expect it to be. If you got this kind of product, they wouldn't work the same as the ones you buy in the official website or the official store. Because these people, a lot of times when they make this kind of makeup stuff, they don't even know what the original product look like. So basically, they put another formula into the same kind of tube. They got the same container because, you know, some of these product um, companies, they actually have their um, factory in China. So everything is made in China. That's why they have the container and everything because literally everything is made in China. Basically, a lot of, a lot of cosmetics uh, or makeup or skincare are actually... 100% made in China or 99% made in China. Um, for example, Coastal Sand, which is a very, very affordable brand, which is um, also very well known in the United States, but it actually have a big part of it made in China. Also, Wet n Wild, very, very national known um, drugstore uh, cosmetic, but it's actually based in China. Um, 
So these stuff are made in China, so that's why people have those kind of containers and stuff. It's just because, you know, it's you made it there. But for your Kylie or Kylie Jenner stuff or say KKW or anything around like $20, $40, and you can get them for five dollars six dollars what i'm saying is you get what you paid for uh, usually uh so when you really want to get a product like that i have two suggestions first of all looking for dupes because a lot of drugstore dupes are exactly same like the product you are looking for they just have the different packaging but the formula is very similar or the color is very similar it depends on what kind of product or what function you're looking for um, the second is actually save up the money you're spending and get a good product so spend um, five dollars ten dollars on xprice.com and collectively you still spend thirty forty dollars on different stuff but you get all of them that are not usable or very not good for your health then you basically are wasting your money i would suggest you to save that thirty to forty dollars and really get something good from the website that you're actually looking into and for the makeup i am um also not suggesting you all to buy product out off of this website is because um personally i think a lot of these um are not having the same standard as you assume to be i'm not saying they're absolutely harmful or they're bad for your skin i'm not saying they're gonna be your rashes or giving you germs but um if you are expecting them to pass the fda sort of like standard thing or you're expecting them to be as safe um, as the bigger companies say anything you can get in the drugstore they are not having the same standard um, usually they make this stuff and they don't have to um, pass any kind of test and they can sell it so um, I'm not saying they're certainly bad for you but you need to understand there's also a risk behind the product that you're paying for and now I'm talking about a big part for shopping on Aliexpress also, I'm talking about Dresslink, Rome, we, um, Wish.com, everything that you um, were he hearing from all different YouTube channels and your friends. Um, why I have to talk about this is because a lot of times I feel like people don't like this website because they don't even look at what they're paying for. And then they get totally the wrong product or it doesn't meet their expectations. They hate it, they want to return it, but it's national shipping and it's just sort of like, yeah, it's a lot of work, I wouldn't do it, and they waste the money and then curse the company. So here I'm gonna help you to solve that problem. First of all, very, very important things is actually know what you are buying. So for know what you are buying, I'm not saying you know what your size is or you know what it looks like. I really, really suggest you to look into the description. So on a description, usually it has a size chart. Um, and that size chart is going to basically help you to buy anything. And here I'm going to show you a quick um, small example um, just to see. So here I have this. I'm looking into this t-shirt. So basically this is what people look at. You look at this is what you look at and that's it. No, you look at a picture, that's not helpful. That doesn't help you at all. What you really need into is you go down and you go to the item description. View all. And then you are looking into what it actually is made out of, the material of it, if you're allergic to that material, and then you are going to look at the size chart. So here it says unit in centimeter, and which means 4 inches, and then you're going to look at the clothes length, and the chest size, and that. You don't look at the size of it. So the size in different country, of course, is going to be different. So if you are assuming you usually wear a size large in the United States, you can't get a size large on these websites. And usually I wear a size large in the United States just because my shoulders are extremely wide. Um, if I buy anything s smaller than size large, I probably, it's going to be really packed on here. So I know that problem 
and that's also the problem when I usually shop back in China. It's not because I am super bulky on my arm or anything. Usually it's the shoulder that's really, really tough and I get like sort of like strained on in the shirts. So I have personally measured my shoulder length and for the shoulder length I know what I'm shape uh, what I'm looking for. So I am currently looking for another one so I can show you all what it means. Okay, so I got another example. Here I'm gonna point into this shirt. You got a picture which is beautiful and good. And I'm going to the item description because this is when I get to know if I can fit in this shirt or not. Here it gives you the size. So for a medium, the shoulder is 37 centimeter and a large is 38 and the extra large shoulder is 39. There might be one to three centimeter area, please understand. So usually I go down just because I don't want to waste my money. So 39 is the biggest size you can get. If I actually get this shirt, I will totally throw it away or give it to my friend because 39 centimeters is so, so much smaller than usual what I wear. My shoulder is 44 centimeters wide so if I get this extra large as it says I will not be able to wear this shirt at all so that's why I'm suggesting you all to look into the size chart so it's very easy basically you do once you can shop on this website with no worries um, you just get the very important sizes your shoulder length or um, your waist your bust, your leg long, or your foot size, you get them all in centimeters or in inches. And then basically every time you shop for stuff, you look into these numbers, you know what you're getting. Um, so when you're shopping on these websites, there's also another problem for people who are plus size or curvy. Um, so for myself example, I am um, plus size back in China. Uh, when I was shopping at home, I usually go for either sex extra large or extra extra large. Um, I can show you a quick example. Just So here is a dress that I got out of um, aliexpress.com. And this size, this really fits me well. It's a um, pretty like all over dress. I usually put it on during summer because I don't want to wear pants. I just put them on and you're good to go. And um, this fits me perfectly and it's in the size extra, extra, extra large. So now you know I'm talking about, um, but in the United States, basically everything I wear is a size medium or a size large. And um, I, so I'm wearing a Forever um, 21 sort of like sweater thing as a cardigan and it's in the size large. So you know, I have expended a lot, a lot of size when I'm shopping for these websites. That means if you're a plus size and you're trying to shop on AliExpress, on Wish.com or Rome We Dress Link, every these kind of website, you really need to know for plus size is a totally different idea in this website. Um, but if you want to shop on this website, just make sure you look into the size chart. Like I said, look into the size chart so you know if you can get that thing or not. So after watching this video, you're probably thinking, you know what, it's a lot of work. I sh just never buy anything on this website at all. But actually, there are so many things that are very, very cheap. And if you don't need them in one day or in a week, you just want to get them for the future reference or you just feel like you're going to need a backup of certain product, I really suggest you to order from this website. Um, I'm gonna give you a quick example right here. So I have got um, these lashes from um, aliexpress.com. I really, if you, um, I'm gonna show you how bad they are right now. Like I have used them for, I don't even remember, maybe 10 times, 12 times. I paid for three pairs of these lashes for less than $2. You know how much they're gonna be if you buy them in Walmart? They're gonna as be at least five dollars and these stuff are actually very good quality I love them I use them on a daily basis it saves me so much bucks every time I need this product you know 
even though they are very long lasting compared to the lashes you get in the usual drugstore, but still they're worn out. You wear them for 10 times in a row or 20 times in a row, they're gonna be broken. Or sometimes you just forget about it and you accidentally lost them. You just have to get a new pair. So these are stuff that I usually have ha have to got a lot of backup. Let's get maybe every time I get five packs or 10 packs of these, it ranks me like, 10 pack, I think I got 10 packs of these. I get um, maybe that's 5 times 10, 50 pairs of lashes for $20. How good is that deal? And it's free shipping. Le you literally need to wait for 20 business days or a month. But actually, this company is very nice. They sell um, shipping this product in only 12 days, I think. Um, but don't expect it's going to always be that fast. It's going to usually be a month. So I'm saying is. If you buy this product, they're gonna save you so much money. So don't be afraid of you having a lot of work because you actually save a lot of money on these websites. So for example, the dress I showed you before, this dress, I really, really like it and I have never seen this kind of design in the United States. I just can't find it anywhere online um, because I just want something really easy. You don't, it doesn't show any curve on my body. It's not super tight and I want it to be just really, really easy. I just put it on, wear flats, and then okay, I'm good to go. And this dress, although it's very, very nice, it's a very good material because it's very breathable. During the summer, it's just the best thing ever. And this thing, I remember it only cost me a little bit over $8. I have to say, these sort of stuff, it really saves me a lot of money. And especially if you want to look for things that have um, sort of like a Chinese style on it, I would suggest you just look on AliExpress. They have so many, so many stuff and they're directly from China. If you really want to get something, why not try it? And they're always for shipping. Um, but on the other hand, for Wish.com, um, I have heard a lot of people complain about it. I feel like Wish.com for me is a little bit um, less attractive compared to Aliexpress. It's just because I feel like Aliexpress have so many, so many stuff. You have a lot more options to buy from. And on the other hand, Wish is more like limited in my opinion. And also Wish.com usually have that little trick thing. It trick you into, trick you into it, say like it's it's free and you click into it the shipping is five dollars basically that means that product is five dollars and they're gonna give you free shipping if you think that way aliexpress is just so much easier you know what you're paying for before you add them to the cart you know how much it is so in that sense i do prefer aliexpress.com um but so if you're interested in usually what i get on aliexpress.com you want to see like a small haul review um please leave a comment down below and i'll show you basically i think since i have ever buy anything from aliexpress i have only maybe two fails so far and yeah so if you want to know uh, more tricks on how to buy things on aliexpress.com or like how do i know if a product is good or not um just basically shop with me um online please leave a comment down below and yeah if you liked this video please leave a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye